Uh, welcome back to Drink With Friends. Today we are going to be diving in. We are checking out a distillery called 13th Colony out of Georgia. One of the few distilleries that are out there that are making their way onto the scene that is actually distilling. Mm, pretty well. Not but just buying it from not some just, giant know, mega conglomerate. It from, you know, source. It's not source. They're actually, they're, they do source. Local ingredients on, and Jack. corn and grain and all Take that. Take it easy. All right, it's all right. <laughs> uh, but this is going to be a two-parter. We have uh, we have the full lineup. Um, 13th Colony was nice enough. They sent over a bottle of the Southern Rye. We've had the Southern Bourbon. We've had the Sour Mash. We've never done an episode with it. And then Kevin just basically came in and... Uh, look what I found. Look what I found just laying around. It's the, sure. probably one of the most hardest to find bottles out there right now. I don't know exactly how many they made. I think it was like less well, than... Well, I think they, Well, there's a bottle number on Is there a bottle one. number on it? I don't know if it says out of. It's on right over here. Mm. Shout out 13th Connie. Bottle 1290. Okay. Uh, so this is That's their double oaked. Um, so we got a couple different pours in it. We're going to go in, score them like we always do, uh, talk about it. So. so now is there anything... Southern about it, or is it just because it's well, the location? They're, they're from well, Georgia. They're from Georgia. Well, I know that's what I'm saying. Um, I'm they source it. local ingredients. So they're using local corn um, and rye and well, grains like and stuff. That's so, cool. yeah, doing some research on it. They're, they're legit. Um, they're doing things. They're actually, you know, trying to make an effort to use local products in their in their stuff. Yeah, that's cool. Um, that. it's, it's really, you know, it's a nice... Nice little bourbon. Um, well, the, <clears throat> go ahead. The Southern Bourbon is is you can purchase that on their website, right? Yeah, it's, and on Sealbox and also. Yeah, Sealbox, Sealbox is thirty five bucks. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's relatively cheap. Yeah, something like and that. Yeah. To be completely honest, like the bottle Free itself, shipping, yeah. it, these it's like bottle. the Old Forester birthday bourbons. We we were complaining about the corks. I mean, uh, well, I mean, I think synthetic cork nowadays is the way to go if you're going to store a bottle for longer. Yeah. Um, I will say liquor stores hate these because they take up so much damn shelf space. <laughs> yeah, they are um, shelf hogs. And they're shelf hogs at home, yeah, too. At home. I brought them all here to yeah. the set because I don't want to keep it at home. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah. They're this, sick, though. I really enjoy their packaging. Yeah. I think their bottles are, it's it's unique Stands out. Yep. 95 proof. Um, the Southern Bourbon, I believe the batch bill was 71% corn, 29 uh, rye, and 8% malted barley, I believe. What's the proof on, on Big Big Daddy over there? Big the- Daddy over there. What's the proof on Little Daddy? Little Daddy's 95. 95. So okay. 95 proof. Um, Big Daddy's coming in at 135, which I did not know. <laughs> 135. I thought it was just like double oaked, but like yeah, they you literally. Can start, you could start a lawnmower engine with that. <laughs> and <laughs> it looks, proof. It, yeah, it looks like motor oil. Uh, <laughs> we open this up. Show. We let it sit for uh, for a little bit to kind of open been, up. It's been about an hour. So yeah. You know what? Minutes. When I hear Southern bourbon, I. I my mind instantly just goes to like a Texas, like like Garrison Brothers, mm. but I'm That's glad a, it doesn't have that that funk. Texas dusty funk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that peanut weird shell peanut funk. Yeah. Yeah. What is that? We're gonna score these <laughs> bourbons like we uh, we traditionally do. We have our scorecard here, Drink with Friends scorecard. Link, you know, link in bio if you want to download this and use this at home. It's fun. Um, still waiting on anybody to use it, other than us. But can you yeah. see if people downloaded it? Uh yeah, I got to check the link tree. I think you can see the, like how many people clicked on it. Two, <laughs> probably. Uh, it's pro- I think it's Rob and Rich from West Islip. But, oh yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so we as we score, we always go nose, taste, and finish. And then last category is triple P. Perfect score is going to be a hundred points. Uh, we have not had a perfect score yet, but will we ever? I don't know. Probably not. Probably. I, I doubt it. Uh, but yeah, going in. Uh yeah. What's everybody's thoughts? It's a really good nose on this 95 proofer. Yeah. I get, I get floral ca- caramel. I was trying to figure out whether I want to go floral or wood. Mm. I think you go a little it's bit of both. Of, yeah, you yeah. can kind of. Go both. I definitely get the floral. It's very, it's got that pecan-y thing. Pecan. That's what yeah. I was thinking. Yeah. It's like a pecan, cherry, yeah. sugary, like pecan pie situation. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, I, I mean, I think th- this nose is great. And it... If, yes. If you're out there and you're like, oh, you can't find Blanton's, like this is just this is this would be a great bottle to add to your collection. Um, yeah. So to taste it, definitely down the pecan route. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
a little praline sort of. Yeah, it's in that. Ooh, yeah. It's in that Jim Beam. Yeah, I like it's that. Got that Jim Beam profile, a little peanutty. Yeah, yeah. There is a little. There is essence of peanut. And yeah. Who knows? But that might be because they're using grains. locally sourced grains yeah. and corn, where that is in the terroir, you know, and it's coming through in the glass. So that could be. So fun. yeah, I, I agree, with Jack. Um, it's definitely in that pecan-y pie, yeah, yeah. Sugar, sugared realm. I I think is it's a it's a really really solid pour, and you know. I mean, I, I, for my, $35? <laughs> name me a better bottle? I don't know if there's many out there. Not like, many for that price. Right? I might win that whole... Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is great. Really good. Easy sipper. Yeah. Like, really just, like, opens up on the end. Got a great finish, I, yeah. There's floral. There's, like, almost, like, rose, like, like mm. rose petal, rose water. Like, yeah. it has that, like, floralness on the back end that I'm really, really digging. Yeah, I'm really digging this. Um... Yeah, I mean, doing quick math on this, and it finishes. It's it's smooth. I don't think it's harsh at all. There's no burn. It goes down. It's got a little, little bit of heat, a little it's bit of hugs, a little, a little bit of tingle. Yeah, it's got a little, little, little spice. Like I can see that a little bit, but little nothing like aggressive. Little, yeah, I don't know. I wish. I think if this was hundred proof, it'd be knockout. My my, I think I'm it's, not even really mad at the proof. I think I'm not I think, it's, proof, I think where it lacks is the finish. It's yeah, just that's, it's, that's, it's that's quick in, quick out. Yeah. Um, yeah. You get a little bit of that tingle. So I'm not going to say it's flat mm. per se, but it's just I wish. It. But you know what? For thirty five dollars, what can you expect? Um, you know, it's, yeah. this beats out a lot of other bottles right. that are much higher in price point. I think so. I mean, Overall, how much is a what is like a like a Russell's ten go for? $40? Seventy dollars, no, or oh, single? Oh, I think yeah. single the regular dollar. one. Yeah. The like forty-five. Yeah, 40, 50? 45. Yeah. I, I put it in that. Category. I put it. In, I, I don't know. If, I, I don't know that's, just, that's such statement. a good bottle. If the age statement is is. is well, I'm trying to think of pricing and whatever. Like but what like, other bourbons? Like look at that. I mean, I don't I know, know if we I'm can use to, like, this. Look like Harlem mm -hmm. Standard. Like that's MGP. Mm -hmm. They're cheap bottles, like fifty dollars. Right. So yeah. like that, I'll it's, take that all day, every day. Especially, and it's different. It's. Going back to the same thing, not sourced MGP, not sourced right. Oh, this tastes not nothing like Martin, a sourced MGP. Like, right. yes. Something yeah. new, different, and affordable, and seemingly available. Yeah. Um, it just it's it's great. It really is. Yeah, I, I think it's a it's a really really good example of like what a really you know a good sipping bourbon can be. Like um, I poured some of this for my for Fran, my wife, and we were just like she's like, oh, this is like really good. This is just smooth. You can drink this like. Yeah, it's it's. I think it's it's an approachable bourbon. Um, yeah, you don't have to think much about it. You can just one so come home. A term that I heard uh, someone was like, "Oh, you know, we hate to use the term smooth, but like the word, uh, like it's very drinkable." Is like a, a yeah. different yeah, it's way. Not it's, it's, yeah. Right? it's not crushable. Yeah, it's not doesn't not a crushable, but it's a. You can sit here and drink this all, all night long next to a, yeah, a bonfire. It's, a, it's, an, it's an any it's a any occasion drinker. So like yeah. you can mix it I'm, if you really wanted right. to. You can come home and just pour yourself a glass. You can pour it for guests really who aren't too? like really big into whiskey, and it's not too hot. It's not too crazy. That's, that's <laughs> a good. It's really good. Yeah, so, yeah. Um, going off their their notes on the well rounded double gold award winning straight bourbon, hits a sweet corn, leather, cherry, caramel, tobacco. Uh, I get the cherry. I get easily a enjoyed tobacco. it as an everyday sip. This bourbon is yeah. bound yeah. for your collection. And I get a little bit of that praline too. Now yeah. that you yeah. said that, yeah, like that, like caramelized pecan. Yep, yep, yeah. It's got a really nice sweetness to pecan it. Pecan pie. It's, yeah, that was a good. That's yeah. a good. A good. Because uh, you get a little bit of the I'm, little honestly, bit of breadiness. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pick one of these up. I think it's out. great. Yeah, it's nice when it's a lower proof because you get a lot more flavor. Yeah, I, out. yeah, it's it's not as I like say, I don't I don't think the hundred proof is needed. I think it's no. kind of I think no, pretty maybe maybe not a, maybe not a hundred proof. I just wish you the, just the finish the fit, was a little a, a little bit. It could be a little young. I think that's I'm, I'm getting a little like ethanol -y and hair ethanol, which could be young. Yeah, like um, there's there's something there that kind of reminds me of like the old Granddad Bonded. Okay, it has which, like that kind of like the which, finish is a little on the lighter side, which has got that peanut note right. too. It's yeah, got that it's little that bit of that Jim Beam. Mm, yeah, um, which is a great budget buy. Another anyway. good like comparison that's like in the same like I guess price range would be the Heaven Hill Bottled and Bond, right? Because I think that's that's like fifty dollars now though. MSRP yeah. is forty dollars. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Elijah Craig small batch, you know, you can yeah, put it yeah, up against guess that. So. Yeah, that's the same exact thing. Okay, yeah, 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 because it's, it's supposed mm -hmm. to be an easy sipper, something you can just pick up around the same price like, point. Like, I would be interested to see this blind against like a Elijah Craig and like a Russell's Ten. Like, yeah. I think it'd be very interesting. That'd be a good one. I where think, it hits. I think this would do very well in a blind. Maybe we taste. should do like a 
a what's on the shelf blind one day and like yeah. just see like, like randoms ran like ru- like you in said that, Russell's Ten Wild Turkey One Hundred and One like yeah. anything that people can just grab and see especially yeah. those because you get do. the cherry on those yeah I'm so. getting the cherry on this and the caramel for sure yeah yeah maybe put it up against like a beam a, like a, a buffalo trace mm. and like a, a, a turkey yeah yeah put them against like the, it's just the really it's I'm I'm impressed I think it would do very well in a blind tasting to be completely honest. Have. I think <laughs> I'm I'm hitting in around like a yeah I'm, how, I'm like a 68 us? 70. I, got okay. I went high. I, think, I went I went high. I got a 74. Yeah, I got a 77. I went I, 20 on the nose, 20 on the taste. I'm in like 20 on the finish, 18 yeah. 20 on the finish, and a 10. Yeah, on the packaging. Yeah, Pop, yeah, I like it. Yeah, I right. give it an eight because I think for a full tank you need a box. No, <laughs> I'm just gonna go tater. <laughs> you you go need a box are. if you want to. You want a 10? You got to give me a box. I know it's like the synthetic. Cork and whatever the uh, yeah. the bottle shape is cool, the, the know, labeling, nice. the scalloping on the labeling is the, nice. The fact that the labels aren't really on straight, there you can oh, tell yeah. they're probably like hand labeled yeah, on there. They're not done in a, in a factory. Yeah. And what like I like that. is yeah, it's the, so the unique that you can just see the silhouette and you know it's a thirteenth colony or right. a birthday bourbon. Right. But I mean, <laughs> was, I think this is more squared out than a birthday. Yeah, bourbon. birthday's got a little, it's a little more rounded. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's a really cool bottle. I think it, it. it ties into that old school like. I think this, Southern. and from what we've been seeing from like the reviews that people are giving this, this is the next up and comer. This is the next big boy. Yeah, I guarantee you, when this double oak gets re released again in September, from what I'm reading, yeah. it's gonna be people lining up. <laughs> it, this was like you used to be able. Well, we'll talk about that when we yeah. get to that bottle. All but right. like that, they're they're making their own stuff. Yeah, it's, the you know, fact that they're distilling themselves too is, is awesome. I'm giving them extra. I feel like I'm scoring yeah. them higher because they do their own distillate. Like it's 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 really good. Um, and I think this is a this is a great and bottle. It's it's a good example of what four you know four to six years like that entry point. Mm-hmm. Like if you just take the time out and do it right, now, that's what you can get. As opposed, if to, this was like an eight year. Well, eight, eight, ten. Yeah, you, it would, you, we, might get, we might get monster there. I don't know how long they've been yeah. distilling. No, no, they yeah, might not so have that stock. Obviously, that's not yeah. doable, maybe yet. But right. I mean, if that yeah. thing was eight or ten years, yeah. that'd be that phenomenal. Be yeah, yeah. release like a ten year version oh, of that. God. It's gonna be really good. Um, maybe that's when you'll see it at a little bit higher proof or something sure, like that. Yeah. But but like you compare that to like a sourced MGP at that price. Like yeah, you can four years well, take your time, make it right. right. You can make a phenomenal product. You don't have to just buy an, a four year entry level MGP Stock and barrel and that. just slap a sticker yeah. on it. Yeah. You yeah. Know? This is a, it's got a unique flavor profile. Yeah. As well. That's why it, it's just something different. All right. So big fan. Yeah. 74. I went 23 on the nose, 25 on the taste, yeah. 18 on the finish and eight on the packaging. Okay. I get it as 77. I think at some point we're probably gonna have to put a leaderboard up. And, yeah, and talk I feel like about I mean I scored it too low, but that's all right. Yeah. We can average them all out. And yeah, then the average score. What'd you score, Jack? So hot take. Uh oh. We gave it an eighty-seven. Whoa! <laughs> Monster <laughs> coming in hot. All right. Man, if this would have had Jack in the name, it'd uh, be a perfect. Yeah, yeah it would be a perfect yeah. Yeah. Hundreds. Yeah. Um, no, I think for the price point. Yeah. They're distilling themselves. Yep. I think it deserves a lot of respect. As yep. a bottle. Yep. And, um, yeah. Yeah. Cool. I Doc like it. Get a few points on the packaging. <laughs> you docked it on the packaging? Yeah, I gave it a seven. Oh, well, you're wrong. Yeah. So. <laughs> I gave it a seven on the packaging <laughs> as well. It's something that the, I, I do like the weird bottle shape, but it just I can't fit it in my cabinet at yeah, home. It's sitting and I can't on top fit it on of my, my thing because I, I put can't it on fit top it on anything. It was, I put it on top of my barrel. Yeah, well, that's yeah, what we have well, it here behind us. So now we're going to get into the Double Oak. Now, the Double Oak, they released a... They did a limited batch of it. It sold out, and it's become, like, super, super highly sought after. Tater juice. Tater juice. If you're going into the uh, secondary market, they're going for, what, 600 bucks a bottle now? Is that like, because yeah. of the proof? Is that all it it's, is? I, it got really good. Re- so, again, so this comes to the, circling back to something new yeah. that's their own distillate that's everyone's got good reviews on it that's yeah. never had it. So people want it, and yeah. they only made a certain amount of it. When this first came out, people were – Getting rid of these at like 100. And, I remember I passed up on one of these at 175 a bottle, mm. and they were like easily attainable because yeah. they just came out. What is the MSRP on it normally? I'm not sure. I don't know. But now, because I guess the the wells run dry. Right. Well, it was a limited release, so yeah, 550 um, to 600. Yeah, just wild. Uh, Are you total whining it? You can't. It's can't. not there. even on there. No. They, uh, I looked. I was trying to find the price on it. I got nothing. Um, I don't know. Uh, but they are doing a second batch. There's a second batch coming out in fall of uh, 
September, I heard. Yeah. Yeah, PC. fall of 2023. It's going to be uh, tough to live up to this one. Uh, People's Bourbon Review has a thing that they put out in 20, February 2023. Well, Woodencourt's got it for eight ninety nine right now. Woo! Just buy right now. So it's going to be... So you figure if it was at one seventy five, I would. I think if I had to guess... $80. Really? Yeah, yeah based on the $80 price point. Yep. Wow. That is... Decided phenomenal. to take an $80 leap of faith. Leap of faith. Wow. $80 is a whole different animal versus $800. Oh, yeah. but, then, but then you figure like... so. Eighty dollars. That's right in line with like an Elijah Craig barrel proof. Right. Okay. I don't know the what the ages are on this. But nine years. Is that? Yep. Is yeah. 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 All right. One hundred thirty-five proof. Nine year. Eighty bucks. Yeah. At eighty bucks. At eighty bucks, I'd buy it all day, every day. I mean, eighty, 80, 80 bucks. Eighty dollars to fill my gas tank up. <laughs> yeah. Let's go. Eighty dollars is in that in that like no look. Just, yeah, that's just yeah, a, yeah. you yeah. buy that shit. Uh, any, I feel like anything under a hundred. Any hundred yeah. dollars or more. Hundred dollars. I'm like yeah. e, depends. E, yeah. I have to try it first. And it depends on like the brand. Like if right. it comes sure. from a reputable brand, I'll just take it. Right. Take yeah. it. If it comes from like a oh, well, Kentucky it's Owl, like, and it's over a little aggressive. This is like. It's hot I, I really like this nose. I think I it's like a, the nose. I think it's the same thing as the other one, just concentrated, very concentrated. I don't know if I, I don't I don't know if I say that molasses. Yeah, yeah. I would say molasses. It's not, like sugar, it's not brown sugar. It's molasses. Like it's not like pecans. It's like I don't it's like, like burnt, burnt walnuts. Burnt walnuts. Burnt walnuts. Yeah, yeah I just kidding. Peanuts, maybe. I get roasted peanuts. Yeah. I get the molasses. I get dark, caramel. Yeah, dark caramel, some vanilla like caramel that you almost burnt. You know, There's right? a little bit of floral in the back if of it. You, if you if you get a good whiff of that, that so one thirty five proof. We're talking like you're I up there this by note. like this you're, is a you're phenomenal stag. Note. You know, like yeah, you're yeah, in that, that proofing the yeah, the yeah. Willard estate. Getting close to the the magical hazmat the, number. Yeah, oh, has, <laughs> if this oh, I, if they if come this, out and if make this it came hazmat. out one forty, the price would be like triple. Yeah, yeah. because the taters T- love it. Oh, taters, taters love a hazmat. <laughs> Take off the mm, take the pure gasoline. I, I can't take this on a bridge. <laughs> <laughs> they love that. I can't, I can't go across, through a tunnel. I can't go through a tunnel with this because it's hazmat materials. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I'm like, I feel like I'm getting buzzed just just yeah. nosing this. Like I'm gonna give this syrup. Yeah, for me, this is a phenomenal nose. I'm, I I want to give it a 28 on the nose alone. Yes. And it's been sitting here open for like an almost hour. a half an hour, probably 45 minutes. I think so. this is a like just concentrated flavors. Oh now, yeah, whether it's if it it's, translates to the taste. Yeah, yeah, we'll, yeah, we'll see. Know, we'll see. Uh, I am gonna go a little higher on just the nose, but. Good God. You know what? That's not as hot as I remember it. It's hot. Don't get me it's hot. Don't it's get hot. me wrong. It's hot. But I, last time I had a sample of this. It's in that realm it's of almost being too, 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 too like hot. too much. No, no. It's starting to lose. It's no. No, it's but, starting to lose. You're, I'm, but, lo- I'm wow. losing a little bit of the flavor on it. That I think sense. it transfers to the palate. Right? Like I feel your proof like, goes like this. It's flavor, flavor, flavor. You go too high, you're gonna start, oh yeah, you're you're gonna start going back on the other. I feel end like of I went into a, a, a oak tree that was struck by lightning and just licked the inside. Yeah, yeah. There you go. <laughs> I'm into that. <laughs> wow. I get a lot of the molasses. <laughs> that you were, like strong molasses. Yeah. Like, like yeah, like, like a syrup. spoonful of black, like, like just black molasses. Strap molasses. Like, mm. Getting maple syrup, like that real maple syrup. Yeah, yeah. like yeah. the the trees on yeah. fire. I like it. I just feel like. I it's, don't know how much you can it, drink of it this. It goes flat. Yeah. Like, are you going to just sit there and like just this, house half the bottle? This, I can house half the bottle. Look at the legs on that bad boy. It's oily and viscous. viscous that yep. mouthfeel is, is is there. I can see why people really like it, but like you're saying, I don't know how much of it I can drink because I, I have can see this on heartburn. <laughs> So this will, this will make that even worse. This reminds me of like when we were in the warehouse in Shirley and we got the barrels from Buffalo Trace. Oh, we drank at the bottom. I that. put one. I took one of them off the pallet and I heard it like sloshing around. I was like, "There's liquid in here," and I drained it out. And yeah. I got about a gallon of just black, black ch- yeah, char. It was like black char, it was like <laughs> cherry juice at the bottom. That's and I, awesome. I ran it through a Chemex filter like about fifteen times, and it was just it like was cloudy, barrel fuck. proof, like like. Burner fuel, but it was it was, it was good. Yeah. It was like yeah. it was like like cherry red hots. Yeah, ooh, it was, wow. like, it was good. So if you've ever had straight from the barrel, I've had literally straight from the barrel. <laughs> like, it was I'm getting the, the barrel, I'm, 
I'm getting that like that, that the heat like agita. no it, yeah it's the odd it's almost yeah, the agita. Agita. Yeah. Yeah. it's create yeah. like it's almost like all right I, I get the agita. so I'm gonna review this as if I'm having one glass of it not if I'm gonna yeah. keep drinking it right. over and over again because I don't think I can I can no, have maybe can. have maybe two of these and then that's two. this is not a session but maybe no, one, no. I don't know but it depends this on is the a, pour this is a small pour you know special occasion. Yeah. Hey, you want to experience something cool? Check this out. Yeah, look what I got. Um, I get some of that floral on the on the mouthfeel too. Yeah, it's very very oak forward, obviously, but you like, know, but I can see why people review this very well. I can taste like the layers. It's very piney. It's piney layered piney. flavors. Piney is a good word. Piney right? too. Like what? Like I don't. But I'm look, trying look, to think like about what we, we, we've said so far. It's like oak. You get. Yeah. Maple syrup, I mean, molasses, it is a piney, double oak. So we're in a fucking tree. <laughs> we are, we are like Ooh. just, and I feel like it. It's evol- evolves. <laughs> you definitely get the it's fucking that last spice. sip is like wow. It's light my mouth on fire right now in a good way, like exploding, just tingling. It's, yeah, it's definitely not an. Un, I'm not. We're not undrinkable. This is. It's just. It's, it's, a, it's a. It's a wild experience. It's a, it's a wild experience. I think that's what it is. Uh, so I'm going 28 I, on the yeah. nose, 27 on the taste, 25 on the finish, and eight on the pop on the packaging. Okay, again. just because I thought that nose was just concentrated, typical bourbon notes like yeah, yeah. caramel, vanilla. No, I, I scored the nose higher. Sugar. I went 28 nose, 25 uh, taste, 22 finish because it's a little, it's a little aggressive. It's a little aggressive. Um, that's why you know, and also and back to 77 on the the triple P. Seven on triple A, sorry. So let's see yeah. what, I, what I ended up giving this bad boy. <laughs> I'm at a 73. I got 25 in the nose, 20 on the taste. Yeah. 18 finished, 10. Yeah. Like, I like the packaging I a gave lot. it an 88, I, and that might be my highest so far. Wow. I gave it an 80 overall. Okay. Which I think, I think but is But here's my problem score. in my head. I'm trying to score. I'm scoring against the other one. Well, I'm like, I like the other one better. Yeah. Like hot take hot. or not, I like their their regular bourbon yeah, better. Yeah, I, I think this is di- like it says on the label. It's an everyday sipper. What does this one say? I wonder if they have any. I think that's like what you're saying. Drink at it, your own that, risk. <laughs> I think that's a special barrels. occasion, though. Mm-hmm. You know? Oh yeah. I'm not pulling like I'm not coming home like just yeah, you're grabbing that off the that. shelf. All right. Here you go. This this may be the South's most decadent nightcap. So Very this nice. is, okay. they're designing this to be, this is your last pour. Your last pour of the And night, you're going yeah. to bed. Uh, Make, that with, checks out. And you're waking up at 2 a.m. Uh, doing the... <laughs> <laughs> or waking up the next morning. <laughs> and like, God reflex. damn, what did I swallow? What did I do? Notes of maple smoked bacon, cream soda, orange blossom toffee, blend with maple, drizzled pancakes, dry aged beef, Ooh, peppercorn and that. salted sea caramel in a very long finish. I mean, sure. I definitely got the toffee. I definitely peppercorn, got the yeah. peppercorn. Salty meats? Yeah. I didn't get the salty dry meats. Dry age, like... Uh, that, I mean, that, like, mommy. Crusty, that, that yeah. funky... That I don't little, get much uh, funk off of it, but I, no. I guess I see what they're definitely saying. Definitely get the maple syrup. It said coffee on there? Toffee. Toffee. Toffee, toffee, I get, coffee. I got, like, the cold brew, like... Yeah, it's like, like the coffee grounds, yeah. almost. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I can see that. Like chewing on some coffee I'm beans. I'm like burping up. I was just about to say, I just burped and I was like, oh, yeah. that hurts. Yeah. I mean, it's designed to be a one and done, I guess. You know, yeah. like that's. They did a good job. But but it is it that is an intense point. But I can see how like a uh, uh, an enthusiast or oh, someone who is a. Absolutely. What all they do is review things. Like if you have that. It, that's hitting it stands all the, out. It's hitting all the notes. It right. stands out. It's hitting 100%. the finish. It's hitting the taste. That yeah. nose is phenomenal. You put it all together. Everything translates well. It's you throw the word limited on it. Yeah. All right. What's your what's your max buy on that? Where do you, where do you like? So in you all, got it for the price you said. I, I got it. I got it for about one thirty early on. I'd say that's. That's a that's about I, that's a phenomenal I'm buy. I'm at yeah. like one. I would say one. That's like one twenty five. Uh, so, after that, I'm yeah. I'm out. I would say 150 just because it's the limited flagship release of a pro- of their mm-hmm. their brand. So sure. like this is a one in this is yeah. what they make and that's like the cream of the crop for that year. Yeah. Like it's like Russell's 13, right? I know it's I know it's right? so I know like, a, a rye like line. like I know, you know, you know, this is what 60 bucks. Yeah. Yes. Right? And no, I, think it's I know it's a double I know it's a double oak rye but like mm-hmm. two two of those for one of those. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'd have that any day. You know. I don't know because it depends. Because again, this is limited special occasion. Because I know we don't, we're not supposed to take into the account the word limited, but like having something. I think you can. Like this bit. is like 
this is what they make. They only make an X amount of these. Right. And it's like, it's you love the brand. You got to have it. You yeah. want to complete the collection. Yeah. It's like Russell's 13. Sure. Wild 12 is very, Wild Turkey 12 is very comparable to Russell's 13. But I want a Russell's 13 because I love everything Russell's. I got a hot take for you. That Wild Turkey 12 is better than the Russell's 13. I'm, I was very. I mean, I, I think you're right. I, honestly. So I, I think value for value, you're right. 1,000%. Not value. No, I not think even straight value. Up, just straight, straight up taste. taste. Straight up taste. I did them both last night. I both had, I had two pours last night. Because I, I was doing a bunch of videos before I go away, um, the Wild Turkey Twelve I think is I think my, I can't I don't understand why that's not on the shelf here. That thing would be when we blinded it. They would not be able to keep it in stock. Yeah. It's or when we did the review, I put the Russells up slightly. Yeah. So just based off the taste, mm -hmm. but I think if you just compare the actual bottles and the value, that's a fifty dollar bottle and versus a hundred and thirty dollar bottle. One hundred one proof makes that super kills it. drinkable. Kills it. Kills it. And the, yeah. like what you're getting. I you're actually getting just ordered another bottle of that yeah, because it's it's that phenomenal. Yeah, it's it's I'm, great. I'm bringing that with me on my trip. I, I yeah. Poured a, yeah, that's, I, that's one I of them. A little bottle flight. Yeah. That's I a great great bottle. But again, that's another thing that you're saying. Like, but it's it's so easy to come by too. Like honestly, in the grand scheme of things, I know it's like import only, whatever. Right, right. But like. It's accessible. Yeah, you can get. It. Yeah, yeah, you can get. Yeah, it. it's you not could take like a flight to Japan and come back with a thousand of them if you really wanted to. <laughs> yeah, you could, <laughs> but the Russell's. Like but flag but going security. back yeah, to like, I feel like they, <laughs> but going back to what we said, like, yeah. look like that master keep right there. Right, right. That's unforgotten. That's yeah. like a, once a year. That's mm -hmm. their limited release. Yeah. Would you pay one hundred and fifty dollars for the flag for their flagship? This is the first one. Yeah. It's got a, that tobacco y yeah, I love caramel that. I, six, I, six, hanging around in a $30 bottle. Yeah, so I mean, all in all, I think. $150, I would pay it. <clears throat> yeah, it's 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 one of those things where I feel like you're right at that 150 price point where, like, all right, I don't know if I'd go if, more. So on now, that. a good question is. But if, to have it in your collection and if you're a fan of 13th yeah. Colony. And it's something different. Like, yeah. It's not the same. Oh, yeah, you want to like. Lux Row, right. like oh. MGP kind of stuff. It's yeah. I agree different. with that 100%. Yeah. I'd rather have this over a. Ton of different things. Yeah. Right so now. now, if you blinded a couple of these expensive bottles, and, and I told you guess the price of these, right. I would assume that would be pretty high up there because yeah. that is hitting almost George T. Stack level of like yes. concentration. Yeah, I would yes. almost like to put that in like a blind versus like a B tag, like a higher yeah. end, higher proof, yeah. even a, like a Willet Estate or something like that. And that's because that's getting up there. Like yeah. handy is secondary. So MSRP is about a hundred dollars yeah. or maybe less. I don't even know what the MSRP is, but they're training for like 700 bucks. Now this is almost up there. Yeah. That's kind of would crazy you want, though. would you have a handy over that? Well, people are going to want it for the, the I name. want, I love the handy. I love, yeah. I, we all love the handies. Yeah. Um, but I think that's, it's one of those. It's, you can't say handy. No. Handy, Andy. <laughs> Hit you but, under the table. but that richness <laughs> and that concentrated flavors, I can see why yeah. someone would say, yeah, yeah, this is. Yeah, if you're into high dynamite. proof whiskeys, if you're into like intense, intense flavors and really like just like intense sips, this is this is the bourbon be. nerd would love this. Oh, yeah. The whiskey nerd, the the, the, the proof bunnies uh, would be going nuts. Yeah, hopping all over. Uh, hopping all thing. over. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's that's going to wrap this one up. That's uh, our 13th Colony. We still got two more to try out, so tune in for the next episode of that. And uh, as always, comment, follow, rate, subscribe, all that stuff. And uh, let us know, have you ever tried 13th Colony?